My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the process of integrating your Adobe Connect account with Adobe Captivate Prime. By integrating these two products, you'll be able to use Adobe Connect as your live virtual classroom inside of the Adobe Captivate Prime LMS environment, be able to take advantage of all of the fantastic features of both products. To begin, I'm going to log in as an administrator in my Adobe Captivate Prime account. Do that by clicking first on Log On then signing in with my Adobe ID. Once logged on, make sure that you've got administrative access. Make sure that you are viewing Captivate Prime as an administrator. So I'm just going to change my role here to administrator. And then on the sidebar, I'm going to scroll down to the settings tab and then select Adobe Connect. Now here you'll be able to enter your Adobe Connect URL as well as a contact admin email. And if you log into Adobe Connect with something other than your email address, you'll also need to provide that here. In this case, I log in with my email address, so I'm just going to leave that as is and click on the integrate button. Now this needs to be verified and approved by the Captivate Prime team, so it can take up to 48 hours. Once your account has been approved, you'll receive an email letting you know that it's been approved. And if you come back and check the status here, you'll see that your Adobe Connect account has been successfully integrated. Once that integration has taken place, you'll be able to create new live virtual classrooms inside of Captivate Prime. You can do that either as an administrator or as a course and module author. Let's go ahead and change my role here to author. And I'm going to create a brand new course. We'll call this course uh, New Hire. We're going to create a brand new New Hire curriculum that includes, as one part of it, an orientation live virtual classroom where students will come together virtually for a live session. So I'll enter a, or I can enter a short description here and an overview, and then add my content. And in this case, my content will be the live virtual classroom. So when I select the module type here, I'll make sure I select Virtual Classroom. We'll call this the orientation as the title. I can give it a description, give it a date and a time. And then make sure that Adobe Connect is selected as the conferencing system. That is the default here. Because of the tight integration, I can actually see all of the different templates that are available to me from my Adobe Connect account. So in this case, I've got my three default templates that are available here inside of Captivate Prime. But if I've got any custom shared templates as part of my Adobe Connect account, those will also show up in this drop down list box. I'm going to select the default training template for this case. And then I can select my instructors. And again, because of the integration, I can view those instructors coming directly from the Adobe Connect account. In this case, I'll just start typing the first few letters of my instructor's name, and we'll pull Peter's profile information directly from Adobe Connect. So Peter doesn't necessarily have to be set up on Captivate Prime. These instructors are coming from the Adobe Connect account. I've got two additional fields on this wizard that I can set up. The first is the completion criteria. We can judge whether somebody has completed this module or not based on how long they've spent in the live virtual classroom. We've set this to be a one hour session. So I can specify here that students have to be in that for at least 80% of the time. If there's a quiz component, of the live virtual classroom, if there's even something like a, a whiteboard presentation, we can choose to add a, a quiz score for this module. This enables the instructors to go in and upload a score manually inside of Captivate Prime after the live virtual classroom has taken place. I'm not going to click that for this session because it's a new hire orientation, but I'm going to click Done. I'm going to go ahead and save this. and then publish it. I'll do that by making sure that I first set a skill and the number of credits, uh, decide whether this will be a self-enrolled course or whether we enroll our students. I can go ahead and set all of these settings. Once I'm done, I can click Save and then Publish. 
we've now published our live virtual classroom course, or a course that includes the live virtual classroom as a component of it. And I can see it here in my published courses. If I click on that course information, I can preview this as a learner to see what the learners will see. And so when a learner enrolls in this, they'll be able to see the date and time of the live virtual classroom setting, uh, how long it is, and they'll get a link that will be activated 15 minutes prior to the scheduled start time of the live virtual classroom. Once that link is activated, as it is in my case, they can click on that link to go directly to the Adobe Connect live virtual classroom, and Captivate Prime will track their attendance in that session. That's how easy it is to integrate your Adobe Connect account with Adobe Captivate Prime. Thanks for your time.